So I sent you a thing. Yeah, yeah, we're up to. Yeah. We're up to. We're up, we're up to. Yeah. Test sign on the base. Yeah. We're up to test sign on the base. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna start off with a picture. I, th I think I think I'm gonna start off with a picture. Okay. Uh, From a window? No, not not a Lando. Again, if you have an art scroll, if you if I have an, I happen to have an art scroll in front of me. Uh, it's, it's, it's 17 8. It's 17 8. What? Okay, so those are, those are in the base of Migdash, they bowed down, they bowed down 13 times. Some said 14. We went in, and the 14th time was they would bow down Kneged, the Dera Eitzim. The Dera Eitzim was the place where they had a Mesorah that what the arm was hidden because there was a, 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 a tile that was offset and they figured out that that was the place where the arm had been buried by, by, by his, uh, his, uh, his, uh, There is uh, the 13 places, other, that was the 14th place. The 13th other place is, is the picture that is there are there are 13 Sha'arim. They bowed down connected the Sha'arim. So the, on the picture that you see, on the south side, you have one, two, three, four. Number one, that's called Shar Ha'elyon. That's called Shar Ha'elyon. Number two is called Shar Ha'delek. Number three is called Shar Ha'bechayrim. And number four is Shar Ha'mayim. Okay? On the, on the north side, five, six, seven, and eight, I don't remember what they're called. But we'll see them. We'll meet them soon. But we'll, we'll, meet, yeah, we'll meet them, what they're called. And then on the... In the East side that's coming in nine, ten, and eleven. Nine that's Shar Niknar, and ten and eleven with two Pishpeshim, two smaller gates that were over there, that were unnamed. In, in one one held the Caleb and one held the the Pinchas uh, Malbish. The, the, it was the Caleb was there, and the back twelve and thirteen doesn't have names. They would bow down to these various areas. They, they would bow down to, to these various areas. So let's see the mission. Directions that they were bowing down. Um, I guess no, they didn't talk about down there. If you passed by there, you bowed down there. It's thirty, you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, that's the mission. Could okay. So these these are thirteen that we mentioned previously. So heichen ha yishtachavirus elu. Where were these hashtachavirus? Arba b'tzafayin v'arba b'darim. Four in the north and four in the south. Sholish b'mizrach three in the east, and beis b'mayrav and two in the west. Connected the thirteen gates. The Droimim Smuch Mairev. The the southern ones are next to the east, uh, the west. If you look at the picture, right? If you look at if you, if you look at the picture, the the base Amigdash runs east west, and the width is north south. So the south side was drawn toward the west side. The south side was drawn to the west rather than the east, right? It was drawn to the west rather than the east. What, what were they? Let's go through them. These ones I did. Shara Elyon, Shara Delek. Uh, that's we'll see what each one is. Uh, Shara Elyon. Shara Elyon is the it was the upper one and, and it went down. Guys, the west was higher. It was on the, the high point and it went down. So it was called Shara Elyon. It was the up upper upper gate. Shara Delek. That would they would go ahead and they would bring eight eight some from Namaracha. Delek means the light. So they be eight, being eight in from there. Uh, the next one, number three, is Sharha Bukhaira. They were being the Bukhairim to be the animals to be shafted there. And Sharamayim, and the fourth one is Sharamayim. Two reasons given the Vulama Nikoshmar Sharamayim. Shibonach Nisan Slikh Shal Nisa Hamayim Bakag. On Sukhas, they would go ahead, they would bring water that would coincide with the Simcha space Ashwaifa. And they would do instead of Nisa in addition to Nisa Hayayim. They would do Nisa Ha Mayim, and they brought it in through that shah. That's one opinion. We're going to see, uh, believe it or not, we're going to have an omen of Gemara that speaks about the lovely water coming out of the Kachi Kadashim and, and seeping out and spreading to all the waters of Eretz Yisrael. And, and it's, going to, going to be, it's going to seep out through this area. That's why it was called Shar Hamayim, uh, based upon what, not what it was used for, but what it will be used for. Right? Not what it was used for, but what it will be used for. Uh, now, Lumasan, opposite the south, guys, take a look. You have three in the, you have four 
in the in the north. Five, six, seven, and eight, right? Yeah, five, six, seven, and eight. Smuchim b'amai v'shar yichanya. That's where yichanya was taken into a gullus. We're going to see in a second. Shar ha korban. That was the korbanus they were bringing for shchita in the north. They were bringing them through that gate. Shar ha nashim. Women who had to do smicha or observe their korbanos being brought, they would be go through that gate. And shar hashir, that's the shar where they would go ahead and bring in the klishir. Why was number five on the chart called shar yechanya? Why was it called shar yechanya? Is shabo yotzi yechanya begalusai? That's where yechanya was taken out into galus. Because we saw yesterday, we saw yesterday. Uh, maybe not. Maybe uh, I mean I, did, I said yesterday that. Yeshiyahu had three sons. He had three sons. He had a son, Yoyachas, he had a son, Yoyakam, and he had a son, he had a son, Sikiyahu, or Shalom, or Matanya, the Matlik is what his name was. Right? Yoyakam had a son, Yechanya. Yoyachas, so one of them had a son, Yoyakam had a son, Yechanya. He was appointed as the king. He was, he was, he was appointed as the king. So, and, and he was replaced by his uncle, Sikiyahu. Yechanya was taken into, into Gaulus along with the Chorosh ch- right? No, 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 right? He said, Yechanya, right? He was taken out, but, but uh, he didn't want to destroy the Beis Amigdash in Bukhanesa. So what he, what he did was he figured he would take away all the, the best of, of Kai Yisrael. Yechanya, Mordechai went out during that, 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 that 11, 11 year period, and they were taken into, into Gaulus, into, into Babel. So this was, t- took place 11 years before the destruction. So the Chanya was taken out of that gate. So it was called Shari Chanya. That's the history behind it. Sheba Mizrach. What was the gate in the Mizrach? That was Shaniknar. That was the Shaniknar that we met. We met that in the Sechda Yuma. That's where a, a nest happened to his doors. He was bringing them. And the, the, the sea, the, the ship was going to sink. They threw them both. They threw them overboard. And they floated out. When they came to Yafo, they floated out from underneath. A tremendous nest. Of Shan Nikna, and Nikna was the person who gave them. Bishar Pishpisha, the Shnei Pishpashim Hayuloi, there were two smaller gates, that's number 10 and 11 on the chart, right? The 10 and 11. Hayuloi Echami, Amina Bech, the smaller one to the right, one to the left. Ushnaim, the Mairi of Lehoyalem Shem, and the two in the west, in the west they didn't have names. So they, they bowed down to these these gates. That's what that's what it means. Says the Gemara, Masnisan Abayosi ben Yechanya. Okay, let me get this here. Everybody now. Somebody's not listening to the show. Uh, I have my suspicion who who is listening to that, but I won't. I won't voice it. Okay. Anyway, the the Gemara says, "Masnison that says that you bow down opposite the gates is Abba Yosef ben Yochanan." He the Omar Kinega Yugim Shorim the Ram Rabbanon Shiva Shorim Hoyu Bazar. Fellas, there wasn't thirteen. There were only seven in the Azara. There were only seven gates in the Azara, right? So I'll date the Rabbanon Hechen Hoyu Shtachavayis Halalu. So if they only had seven gates, where do you get thirteen Shtachavayis, guys? Right? We said they bowed down thirteen times. Where did you get the thirteen shtachavirus? If why, if they, if they only were seven gates, right? Kiahi de tanina. Tom in your gimel process, how you boy? She parts from malachi yavon. The chasu v'gadrum b'nei chashmonayim. The gazu k'neged yugim lishtachavirus. Okay. Now we, I think you're familiar with this. Around the around the bias, there was a thing called the seirig. A non a non Jew, an akum can only go up to the seirig. And we talk about uh, you know social distancing. They were really distant. They couldn't come beyond that. it scared the Greeks very much. So what did they do when they get there? They got to the Syrig. They made thirteen prozes. They made thirteen holes in them that to go ahead and allowed that them to go ahead breaches, if you will, to go past the line of demarcation. And and when the when the Hashemnayim were victorious, they closed them up. So Kenega, those pierces, since again, you don't have Sha'arim, they only have seven Sha'arim. Kenega, those pierces, that's where they bowed down to. Kenega, those pierces, that, that, that's where they bowed down to.
Right? Yeah. Yeah. Why should we bow down to somebody who broke something? What? They, they broke the gates. Why should we bow down to The them? nest, again, the nest that you closed them up. You closed them up. Yeah, after they closed them up, they bowed down. They didn't bow down to the open. After they closed them up, they bowed down. Yeah, after, 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 they, after they closed them up. So it's it's connected that. Okay, now the Gemara, Blessed Me Yaakov said it was called Shara Mayim because of speaking about Ba'achra Sayyam. This is this is uh, the whole idea over here, as we're going to see, is war coming out from the Kachik and Doshim and getting expanding and more and more. It's obviously a marshal for much, much deeper things that's going to be. I would suggest, I'm sure, we know that we ain't Mayim al Taira. He said Mayim is the, is the sustenance of life in Taira is that this is alluding to perhaps the clarity of Taira that we, will be so clear in those days and so pervasive in those days, encompassing flowing over the world where everyone would know HaKadosh Baruch Hu, something along the lines of muscle to explain it. It's going to be a daf of, of uh, again, just psukim and, and, and strange ideas. Says the Gemara, Ksiv, it says, That day, water will come out of Yerushalayim. Tani, the base Kotshe Kedoshim, Ara Paroiches, for the water would flow out from base Kotshe Kedoshim and told the Paroiches, Ke Karnei Silei Kilai, like like the horns of these snails, you know, very very thin. I mean, at Paroiches, once they reach the Paroiches, at Mizbach at Mizbach Azov, Kikarnei Chagavim, then it would be like what the horns of of, of locusts, which are thicker. I mean, Mizbach Azov at Azores, Kichut Shel Shesi, it'll be like the Shesi of Shesi Veiriv. I mean, Azores, I miffed on from Azores to the miffed on of the bias, Kichut Shel Eiriv, which is a thicker than the than the Shesi. From that point on, it's going to get wider and wider, like the opening of a of a jar. It, it says, it says in Yecheskel, the water is going to trickle out from the right side. It says ish And the, the man on the, who's on the left is going to measure it, and it's going to be. May of Sayyam, what is my of Sayyam? Art Kasula. It's going to be up to his ankles, like up to the ankles. <laughs> By Yomod Elef, that, that's the first thousand Amas. By Yomod Elef, I have Irene Bermayim, Mayim Berkayim. And then it's going to go another thousand, and then it's going to go at Berkayim up to your knees. By Yomod Elef, I have Irene May Masnayim, then it's going to go up to your, your, your waist, another thousand. Ad Masnaya to your waist. You can't Elech. It's going to be another thousand. It'll be a river that you couldn't get across. I feel it'll be running. Even a large ship won't be able to get across it. That's how powerful this the flow of water is going to be. That even a large ship won't be able to get across. Again, not to be taken literally. My timer, it says, that'll be so be powerful. A mighty ship won't be able to cross it. If they ma, What's the reason? Because the waters they got they got swollen as much as the may sachu. What is may sachu? Mao may sachu. I guess lashon sachu is lashon to swim. So you won't be able to swim, and a big ship won't be able to get across. Amra Afuna Baasron in our place karyul shayata they call swimming shachvana. So may sachu and shachvana are synonymous. Who perish yodav bikir boy kasha yefarish hashoyche lishchais. He'll stretch out his hand. Right, like a swimmer stretches out his hands to swim. My lishchais. What does it mean to swim? Lishchais. I'm Rabbi Yosi ben Rabbi Boon. Me me me. the mismali alma. The water is going to be like that. That's spoken about all over the world. That's how famous this world is going to be. Again, the water. The, the whole image of imagery of a Torah t- fits in beautifully. Right. It starts off slowly, expands more and more, gets to the point where there's nothing going to be able to stop it, and and. Uh, Everyone's going to speak about it because everyone's going to know Hakadosh Baruch Hu. We speak about lots of love with it. All the time we're going to know Hashem. So the analogy to the Torah does fit in quite well with the, with the with the, with the marshal over here. Siv, it's not another pasuk pasuk in in Zechariah. By Yom Ahu Yeh Makar Niftach LeBeis David UYeshu Yishalayim LeChatos LaNida. On that day, there'll be a spring. That'll be the for the Beis David the people living in Yishalayim for Chatos and for Anida. Now, just as a, as a means of uh, foreshadow a bit. Information. 
Anida has to be toivel in water that is not moving. It has to be ashburin. It can't be moving water. Uh, azov or mechatas has to be mayim chayim al keli. It has to be water that comes from a fountain. Good? That's where water comes from a fountain. So now, Rabbi Shimon bar Nachman b'shem Rabbi Yishnan mi beis David ba Yishve Yerushalayim from the time this water when it came from the house of David the house of Yerushalayim kisherim lanida ulachatas the kasha for the 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 kasha for the paraduma and the and the kasha what for and the kasha what for anida as kasha for anida and kasha for mechatas until that point we come veelich and that point beyond may taruba same from that point it's it's mixed in kisherim lanida they be kasha for anida. But the is considered like a waterfall, and pasulu and needle chatas be puzzle for both. Puzzle for the need because it's moving, and puzzle for the chatas because it's not a mayan, it's not a fountain. It's falling by the force of gravity, not because of an underground flow. Siv, Bayoma Eli, Hamayama Ela, Yoitsim El Haglile Hakad Moni. And he said that these waters are going to go out to the, the Golil, the eastern Golil. This seems to be, they knew a name called Samcho. The Yordu, and it's going to go, Al Ha'arava, it's going to go to the plain, say Yamshal Tferia, what we call what? The Golil, the Canary. Uvo Hayoma, it's going to come to the sea, say Yamamelach. So basically, this water is spreading to all the waters, sources in Eretz Yisrael. Alayoma Hamutsayim, to the sea that is going out. So Yom Agadol refers to what the Great Sea. So I heard, I saw the, the different opinions. I saw one opinion that says it's uh, it's the Atlantic Ocean. Other opinions, Mediterranean, right? Different, different, different areas. Alone Nikrish might saw him. It's Lashon of Rabbim. Kineged Shtei Pum Shiatsa. Kineged the two times that it overflowed. Echad Bedar Enosh, the Echad Bedar Haflaga. So we're all familiar with the Mabel, right? We're all familiar with the Mabel and what transpired there. But there's it, it, Rashi brings at the end of Bereshis. Right, if you if you had Torah cards, if your kid had Torah cards, it's more foolish Torah card. If you ever look at the world, guys, did you hear every the continental drift theory? Mm-hmm. If you take a look at the world, you can see once upon a time they kind of all fit together. Like you take the Africa, you take South America, it fits in. It really really does fit together. So probably I always learn Peshat that says uh, that that uh, on the on the second day of creation. Uh, the third day of creation, you say, Raya the water should be go ahead and go to one place, and you should be able to see the Abasha. Right? They, they, and they called the Abasha Aretz, and they called the Mikve Hamayim Yam, they called it Yamim, right? So you see, it's two different places. So once upon a time, I think the world basically, you could, there was dry land and there was water. And as a result of the May Enosh, there was the, two thirds of the world was flooded. Be may enosh. At the end of Rishis, they bring that, that there was the, Rashi brings it. They bring the medrash, and this is what the Gemara is referring to. That the menosh there was such a flood, and, and it went ahead and it, it changed the topography of the world. And that's how I explained the continental drift theory. Rebbe, it's in Parshas Noach very clearly that this how the islands of the world were separated, and that's continental drift. I'm going to show you the, the it's beferish in the pasuk. Yeah. Black and white. So I'm saying, if you look at the, at, but may enosh, that's exactly what happened. So this we're saying over here, might some that that the waters came out, that they came they came out as as, as this is uh, it came out twice. And with may I flog, oh, we know that God did not deal deal, deal uh, nicely with them. It says Reb Laozo b'shem Reb Chanina for Yishoni Yotza ad Kalbria. The first time the waters came out, it came out to Kalbria. I have no idea what that is. Italy, France. Ubashnia Yotza at Kipe Barbaria, that's the that's the Barbary coast. That's North Africa. Rabbi Acha Bashem Rab Khanina, Barishina Yotza at Kipe Barbaria, right? That that's the first time. Ubishnia Yotza at Aku Bad Yafo. Came out until Aku and Yafo. And he brings the Pasik. At Po Tovu Blay Soisif. Till here you can come and don't go, don't go farther. At Aku Tovu Blay Soisif till Aku. Upo Yoshis be going gelecha, and your waves they'll go ahead and they'll show their godless. At Yafoi Ushis going Gulecha, and you see at Yafoi they'll show their 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 God, God their Majesty. So you see that Yafoi is considered both places Aku and Yafoi mentioned. Nicha Yom Raba Yomad Milcha. I understood why they went to the Yom and went to the 
the, the Mediterranean, the Yomad, the Milcha, because Bishvil, the Matgan, because they wanted to sweeten them. They were salt waters. So I had to sweeten them. But you made Tveri, you made the Samcha, but why they have to go to Wad? You made Tveri, you made Samcha. They already were sweet waters, right? Mediterranean was salt water, I guess so. It is salt, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm saying this it makes sense, right? Right? The rabbi is the Gosam. So why did the water go there, guys? To make it to that the fish should go ahead and, and increase. The chsiv bay, lamina tia de gossam, till the species will be their fish. Lamina meaning tia de gossam, there'll be a many, many different types of fish. Tony, a bryce that shows this. I'm a bishim of Galil. Maisa shalachli lit sidon. There's a maisa I went to the town of Sidon. They view the fun of Yosem Mishlech Meyes Mine Dogim, the Tam Chuyachat. Talk about a lot of herring, guys. Imagine, <laughs> yeah, all the good stuff. 300 different types of herring. Can you imagine? Schwartz's. They're opening up new places. They're opening up new places. They opening up new places. Who's opening up new places? They read the Schwartz's? What? Imagine finishing these guys that have different kind of herring. What do you mean? Can you imagine? What do you mean? It's not, you don't have to imagine. It's true. It happened. Just imagine it. Huh? What, Harry? Wait, no, I'm saying, no, you know, you know my biggest fear. But what it, it says that Hashem created the, the, the Taninim. Hashem created Taninim. He said that, that it's written Chasla Yud. Why? Because Hashem salted away the the Nekeva Lasa Lava to the Tzadikim. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's, that's waiting a big piece of fish. I mean, yeah. imagine. What happens? You don't like fish. I guess I call it have have liver. Liver. <laughs> We'll come with some ayah, Kichel. What? The sawdust kichel will come with. So, yeah, can you imagine the sawdust kichel that, that comes with yeah, that fish. It doesn't cause high blood pressure. Yeah, oh gosh. <laughs> but anyway. A very good okay? So, my sister, after the side, then I went and they brought me a dish with 300 mamish different species of, of fish. Okay. If it's near Buhamayim, and it says, and the water they became sweet. It's soy of gavam in the, in the swamps and in the gav, and in pans. and they didn't become sweet. Lamelachi tano, they're salt. One second. Ksiv you just told me they became sweet. That am is Then the same sentence to say they didn't. And if were a makum who no, they became sweet and they came about. There was a place that was called layerapu. It's a place. Ksiv, and again, this is a continuation of the pasuk. Along this stream, you can have on both sides all types of fruit trees, and it's going to have leaves that don't dry out, and it won't, it'll give fruit, but it's now, it'll give a period of of Yivake. It'll give fruit. In, in this world, it takes six months for the crop to ripen. The elan isin l'shtein asa chaydesh, and elan it takes double that amount. It takes a year. So avol asa lavoi hatfua isa chaydesh echad. The tfua will be what in a single month. The elan isa l'shtein chadash in two months. My time, it says l'chadashav to its months yivaker. Okay, in two months you get it. You'll, you'll get two months. You get you'll get what you'll get fruit. So in two months I get fruit. And crops always here for that, it'll be one, one month. Since the in this world is six Kadashim, the will be 15 days, the double that a month. Guys, by 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 Yoyal, there's a tremendous amount of arba. Do you remember the Rashi brings it by the Marcus Marcus Arba? Right, there, were, there was more, but it was the same type. Oh. So there wasn't anything to eat. How can they bring the Oymer? So in 15 days, so they planted on, on Rosh Chodesh Nislan yes. until the 16th day. They had 15 days, they got a crop already. They had a crop. So you see that just like it happened there, it happened last Lavoy, that in 15 days, you'll be able to get a crop. So in a, mo- in a month, you'll be able to get a tree. The car men of Oymer in 15 days. My timer says, when it's you and Giloy, the Simchu, Vashem, Lakechem. In the beginning, and 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 Malkush. Malkush, and this happened simultaneously, and you're able to produce in a, in a 15 days. So now, according to Rabbi Yosi, that it's 15 and a month. Meaning, two months. It says in the whole chodesh v'chodesh yem mevake. No, it doesn't mean in two months. Each month, months you'll be able to each month. 
separately, you'll have a crop. Right? Not that it takes two months to produce a crop, but within each month, months, you'll have two crops because each month will produce a crop. The Pasuk continues and it says, Mashmit's leaf will be, the trufa, the leaf will be to heal. You can go ahead and trefa is a lot of food. Suck its leaf out and you'll get food. Usraf means and traf means food. It doesn't mean food, but it means medicinal purposes. Let's say a person had trouble eating, then his mouth will be able to speak, will be able to eat. If a person has trouble going to the bathroom, it'll be metamucil effective. It'll go ahead and open the mouths, means it'll open the mouths of, of uh, people who can have children. People who could not speak. So that, that, that ends the, 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 the stories about with the that ends the stories with the with the water. But again, the mush the more derech mushal, more derech mushal, and and there's uh, Hashem. We should all be zayich to see it. May be amen. Okay, we said that Luma opposite opposite on the south south side was there was the north side. And one of them was the Shari called Shari Chanya on the north side. It was the Shari Chanya. So I, I gave you the history. I gave you this Gemara. Ulu Umasan Bitsafain. I might say Bishash Olam in the Chanez. You find the Torah of the Chanez came to Israel the Khan. Rabbi Yoshe Vidoifnesh and Tukhya in Antioch. He went ahead and settled there. The Yasas and Heshen Gadol, the Krasa, he said Heshen Gadol came out. The Machabinim, they came out, you know, do, do the right thing. Now the time to destroy the base of the Mingdash. The one who has gone ahead and given me the job of, of reigning over you, and I'm coming saying, Go tell Yechonia that Nebuchadnezzar is requesting you. And Kim and Shoshoma Mehem, Kach. So when Yechania heard this, not so he knew things were over. He knew things were over. Not the Mavtecha Shal Beis Hamikdash. He took the Beis Hamik, the keys of the Beis Hamikdash. Allah the Gaga Shal Hechel. He went up to the Gaga of the Hechel. We have a similar Gemara in Pinus, but there it says that the Levim they went up with it. But here it's Mashma Yechania went up with it. And Amal Lefan Rabbeinu Shlaim the Shavar Hayinu Neman Lacha the Hayim Mavtecha Yisla Misun Lano. In the past we were believed by you, and the Mavtechas were given to us. Now it's clearly we're not Nehmanim because the fact that Nebuchadnezzar is, is coming to destroy us. Then to Matekos, I'll give them back to you. So you have Machlekes Amarim, exactly what transpired with these key, keys. Chadom is Zarkon, one says he, that Yechonia threw it to Shemayim, but Oy Lo Yardu, and then come down again. Chadom Ar Bo Kemin Yad, a hand came out of Shemayim, but not lost him Yodin and took it from his hands. And Kim and Shirol, Kochar Yehuda, came, since all the chiefs of Yehuda saw this, all the Rosh Gagos say, and they went up to the roofs, the Naflu, Umesu. How do the Chsidiv, the Pasuk says, Maisa Gag Malacha, Efa Kiyalisa Kulcha, Lagagos, Tshur, Smelaya, Ir, Hamia. Yes, so Yehuda, what's your question? How was he allowed to go to the top of the Hechel? Wasn't that uh, a place where only Kahanam allowed to go? I guess I, I, guess, I mean, to do the avoid the like between Ulam the Hechel, he's not allowed to walk. He's the king. Yeah, but he he, he wasn't allowed. He was only allowed to sit. But he, I don't know. Says he, I don't know. You're allowed to go to the top. To go to the top. Yeah, and I'm saying those are that for a purpose. I guess I guess this is a big purpose, right? <laughs> I guess this is a big purpose. Okay, so now he said there's the, continuing along that theme about thirteen. So there was thir- there, there was thirteen shofars which didn't meet yet. There was what? There was thir- what? Sphere. Okay, uh, Benji's going to remind us all to say sphere afterwards. So those people who, who right? How can you miss it? You get you get myzmanav.com. You get it, right? About ten times it says it. Myzmanav.com. How you said it, right? Yeah. There you go. Okay, anyway, there were 13 Shulchanis in the Migdash. Ches shel Shayish, 
eight made of marble, the base hamit bechayim in the butcher part of the base hamidish. In the north part, they would go ahead and they would butcher the 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 the, the, the meat. So they would when they would go ahead and work on it, they keep it shayish as cold, and it would keep it from spoiling. So it was of eight of them were made of marble. Shaleim adichim as They did much more than, than wash out the innards. They did other things there as well, but that's one of them. Who base b'mayrov, and two that were in the west, right? Of Hakevesh. The two are in the west of the of the ramp. Guys, picture the ramp. I'm gonna say I have a you don't have to picture it. I'll I'll pop it up here. Let me pop it up. Got it? I should blow it up a little bit. See? This is the going south to north, and this is east, and this is west. So over here, you had two tables on the west of the Kevesh, right, right where the little pointer is there. On the west of the, of, the, of, of the Kevesh, you had two tables. What was the purpose of those tables? So the Mishnah continues. One was made of, of marble, and one was made of silver. And the shayish, they would put the ivorim, which we're going to transport up, they'd put them over there. Gal shall kesef, and the one of kesef, klishares, they would put, guys, there were 93 different klishares they would use every single day. So they put all the, and I'm ready saying, I, I'm ready to add. This is very sad. I'm, a, I'm a mind reader, I see 90, 93 is going like this already. Anyway, so the, they put the, on, the, on the klishares, they put 93, 93 of silver of klishares. Okay, so now how, how much is that total, guys? That's 10, right? 10 so far. Eight of shayish, one of shayish, and one of silver is 10. Ubeiz bu'ulam mebifnim. Beiz bu'ulam mebifnim. When you walk into the ulam, I don't, I don't have an ulam here. I must have an ulam here. Where's the ulam? Let me see if I have an ulam here. There's an ulam. Okay, how come I can't blow this up? Now I can blow it up. Guys, you see? Guys on, on the Zoom, you can see it? Yeah? So look, you have one over here and, and one over here. You have, this is the, the ulam, this is the heichel, and this is the ulam, right? So you'd have base bulam, nifnim inside, al pesach abayis, echad shal shayish, one of marble, the echad shal zahav, and one of gold. Al shal shayish, noislam lechem apanim echnisatsai, when they'd walk in on Shabbos, they'd put down the lechem apanim on this. Al shal zahav, and the golden one they put over here when they come out. Shemaila bekoidish shalom aridim. Since it sat for a week, the lechem apanim sat on the shulchan, which is made of zahav. Obviously, you can't put it on any other material less than gold. Because my little bit kodesh, we go up, they ain't my reading. So you'd have to continue along those lines. And of course, that's the shulchan papa, which gives you a total of 13. Shalom lechem parim tamid. Okay? So you had eight, and then you had two next to the, the, the next to the kevesh is 10. You had two in the ulam is 12, and then you had the shulchan papa, which would be 13. Good. So Baruch Hashem, we have, we have, we have what's going on here. And we'd like to thank Steve Gello for this computer that he told me I'd like. And I didn't believe him, but I, I do like it. It pops. It, it's so easy to share. You just drag it on. It's, it's, it's amazing. My notes on my phone show up on my, my computer. And I, should, I, just, I just copy and boom, I just zoom. It's, it's fantastic. It really is. It's, it's a patch code, emailing. And, okay. So let, we, we discussed this lechem upon him, right? Now, why was, guys, you have, look. We said on, there was two in the ula. One was marble, and then it was a week on the gold, and then when you took it off, it was on the gold, right? That was that was the that was the the every single Shabbos. They would divide it up six for the Mishma going in and six for the Mishma going out. They divided each week. That was the lechem upon him. Now, Tony, I shall kesef that it wasn't of shayish; it was of kesef. The lechem upon him was placed on silver. We said it was placed on what? On, on Shayish. So 
Rav Yosi b'shem Rav Shmuel bar Yitzchak, Rav Chanan Yamati bar b'shem Rav Yochanan, less kanshal kesef. We don't have kesef. Mithnesha hu masiach, because kesef, we're going to take the hot bread, you're going to put it on the silver, it's going to get ruined. So we want to put it on shyish marble, cold, which will keep it fresh, which will keep it from spoiling. Shred the Gemara, what do you mean? Why do you have to do that? Loi king Tony, did we not learn? This is one of the nisim that occurred in the Beis Hamikdash. Shekashem shahoyu manichem oisei chaim. Just like when they put it on the shulchan, it was hot. Kachoyu moitzin oisei chaim. A week later, it was hot. Shenemar loshum lechem loshum lechem chaim biyamul kachoy. Bread that is hot on the day that it's taken off. Right? It was hot the whole time. In other words. It, obviously, it can't spoil. It's a mess that it stayed hot the whole time. So why are you worried about that? You have to put it on a, a marble table, put it on it to keep it fresh, keep it on a silver table. Don't worry. It's going to be hot and fresh. It's not going to spoil. And for the Gemara, have you sure it's been Levi Oimer? Amos came in my Sinisim. You don't, you don't go ahead one and, and mention my Sinisim. My Sinisim, you, you don't mention. You don't, you don't mention my Sinisim. In other words, ain't some kind of Your person does what you got to do. I and S happens, ain't some kind of You know, is a tremendous thing. When teva is mishuna, it doesn't mean that that's the teva. In other words, you're in the midbar and you have mud falling every day. Every single day was a nest. It's still a nest. Every single day was a nest. It wasn't that you get used to it. Every single day was a nest. And there's no guarantee it's going to happen. So it was hot one week. It's no guarantee. Ain't some kind of a nest. Again, it doesn't become, regilis doesn't make a shine teva to be teva. I, yeah, but I'm saying it's, it's a nest, it's a nest, it's a nest nister. I'm saying nest nigla like this, you know, something that is mishana teva, something that is mishana teva doesn't mean if it, it doesn't mean it ain't some kind of nest. Just because it happens, no guarantee it's going to happen. No guarantee. Okay. Now, boyu kumei rab ilo, the yesterday rab ilo lehoyu shom lechem mahu laniach the shabbos abar. What happens if you don't have lechem upon it? Let's say. You didn't have lechem upon him. Let's say for whatever reason they didn't have lechem upon him. Can you keep the lechem on, or you take it off and eat? Do you keep it on there all the time? You take it off. Now here's the shaila. There's a din of lina. Anything that's left out of its man, we know is has a soul called lina. We said you leave something overnight, right? Of the mizbeach, it's lina. Every day the the kiyar, since it was kodesh b'klishares, they had a mercy in the mikvah to stop the water becoming pasolina, right? Yeah, they had to do that. Down, but why they do that? It's that the water inside the kiyar should not come pasol because the kiyar was a klishares. So so what? Attached. That that that's the the, the shulchan coming tummy. That that's the only thing shulchan coming tummy. But the lechem upon him, right? But it's, it's over the water in the. Uh... Uh, oh, you're saying it has a different cliche. You don't give that terrace. I don't, I don't, they don't give that terrace. It wasn't the anyway, it was loose. It was a cliche, it was a cliche, right? The end of okay. So now, so, so he has the, he has the Shiloh. What, what's the din of keeping it on? Can you leave it on more than one? So I'm a loin, it says, it should be me, lefani tamid, lechem upon him, I feel a puzzle. Lechem upon him, I Now, I learned Pshat, that means. So tak is psalina, but it should stay on it anyway, because it, you have to have it funny tamid. Other people say that since it's lefunai tamid, it's not puzzle. This is too shot. My mind is obviously wrong. That, that's what I would have learned. But uh, and I saw someone after who says it. So Baruch Hashem. But I'm saying either way, you keep it on. Either way, you keep it on. No matter what, you keep it. You keep it on there. Okay. Asawa shulchanos asa shlame. Shlame went and made ten ten shulchanos to tziv. Vayas shulchanos asara. Okay, this I, I want to try to f- figure out exactly how these things were set up, right? How exactly these things were set up. So here we are. Picture this. Picture this. And there were, now notice, this is in the shulchan's in the north. Again, this is north, this is south, and this is east, and this is west. So this is north, south, east, east and west. So if you picture, there were five on each side of these. Now, the one has a shiloh, whether it's going in directionally, was it going from east to west, 
or going from north to south. Good? North to south or east to west. Now, if it goes from north to south, you got a problem because the shulchan has to be in the north. So the five that are in the, you're not going to be able to fit them totally. So you're going to have five stretching to the south. In other words, I could put 10 tables over here. One is over here and 10 going over here. Four, four, four including this, will be in the north. And the other ones are going to be in the south. If it's in the south, you won't be able to use them. So the Gemara is going to show us exactly how it was, how, how they set up. Says the, says the, says the Gemara. He made ten shulchanas. If you can say five were in the north and five were in the south, the shulchan is only kosher when it's in the north. Should be on the north side. So in other words, so let's say. My hand is north, and this is south. So they were situated this right over here. They were all in the northern hemisphere, right? They were all north, going east to west, but they were all north. Because, however, despite the fact that they were situated that way, and despite that, yet ten tables, they would only use moishas. They'd only be masader on on moishas, not on the other ones. Shinemar es hashulchan asher olav lechem aponim. The shulchan that's on it, the lechem aponim, moishas shulchan. Reb Yosi, Reb Yehuda, I'm a no. Al kulin hoyim esader. From time to time, Reb Chaim learns, guys, based upon Rashi. From time to time, it doesn't mean there was ten lechem aponim, but there was lechem aponim, only one lechem aponim, but it wasn't limited to moishas shulchan. It could have been sometimes on this one and sometimes on that one. Shnemar es hashulchanos va'aleim lechem aponim es hashulchanos. And on them, the lechem aponim. Remind everyone to say Sphira. Wish everyone a good night. Thanks everyone for listening. Good. Thank you.